Yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. Well, that's why they that's why they bring it they do it here or out there like Ready? No, I was going to put on a hydroband oh, yeah. board, but then they, they yeah, like I was like, don't it. waste it. Don't waste Drop it. In a water bucket. I guess we're good, right? Can I turn these on? No, I'm already on. Okay. There we go. Good. All right. I'll let uh, a few people trickle in here. Get a few more faces over here. Uh, today we're going to talk about Spectral Rock 1. So if anybody wants to come, listen, sit down, please fill up some seats. All right, my name is Ryan Blair. I'm Senior Product Manager for our Grouts and Sealants at Latacrete. Um, today I've got uh, two of my colleagues here. I've got Adam and Nick uh, helping me do a demo. At the end we'll do a demo, and whoever wants to come up and touch Steel Taste Spectral Rock 1, please, please do so. Um, so I'll take you through the, uh, the journey of Spectral Act 1 and how we got here. And so in 2007, that's when, whatever you want to call it, pre-mix routes, um, one-step routes, ready-to-use routes, thank you, came into fruition. They, they came to the, you know, the market. Um, it was quartz lock. Funny how that kind of sounds like Spectral Lock, but anyway... Quartz Lock came out with their first premix route, and and today, you know, we've got a litany of premix routes that are still in the industry, and all those routes, you know, I view them as, as glorified caulks. That's essentially what they are. They're glorified caulks. They're either urethane or acrylic, and we have one too. It's called ready to use grout. So we have that. It's, it exists. Um, let me go back one here. Oh, this is going too fast. So on June 12, 2017, we as a company, we met uh, Ron Nash, myself, Sean Boyle, um, Eric Bondi, who's the head of our R&D group. Um, we all met together in our research and development um, building, and we, we threw the gauntlet down. We said, that's it. We want a premix route that can do epoxy performance. We've already, got, we've already got that ready-to-use thing. It's a flexible grout. It's a, a curl-based grout. We want something that can actually be an epoxy. That's premix that you can pull right out of a pail. So essentially, this is what we wanted to, to deliver. You know, one component product performs like Spectral Rock Pro Premium. Um, it's got the spreading and cleanability just like um, Pro Premium. Uh, feels just like Pro Premium and actually cleans real well. Cleans easy, just like Pro Premium. Essentially wanted to hit the ANSI A118.3 standard. For those of you who don't know, uh, that is the epoxy standard. Um, that is what Spectral Lock Pro Premium um, hits for a standard. And of course, with premix routes, there is no standard. Don't let anybody fool you. There's no standard whatsoever. Everybody will put on their data sheet, this meets ANSI A118.3. Well, there's a lot of criteria to that. There's six, in fact. And not one premix grout out there, especially it's the compressive strength. The premix grouts on the industry today, along with our ready-to-use grout, they average about, let's say, 100 PSI. That's it. What we created with Spectral Rock 1, though, it hits the 3,500 PSI. Totally different animal. Completely different animal. <clears throat> you can see here, you know, there's, there's, there's a technology difference. So you've got an epoxy. We all know what an epoxy is. a part A and a part B, the catalyst. You put those together, you have a chemical reaction. That's how you get a cure. With premix routes, that's not the case. You have to have the moisture escape the grout joint for it to cure up. I mean, that's the nature of, of this, these technologies. Um... But we wanted, it, we wanted to make sure that we could take Spectral Lock 1 and actually hit that criteria 5.6, which is the compressive strength of epoxy grouts. So 10,000. What's 10,000? And I, I'm not kidding. We've got, we've got notebooks over in our R&D department. They probably stack up about three feet high. That's the amount of formulas we went through before we found Spectral Lock 1. And you know, you've got 250 pages in each one of these notebooks. And on each page, both sides, you've got five formulas. And all these formulas, we, I mean, we went through so many different rollouts, so many different iterations. It took 10,000 of those to finally come to Spectrock 1. And you guys can read here. Uh, I'll go through each one of these. Um, essentially, what we've created, 
you know, when, when Prius routes came out in the market back in 2007, that revolutionized the market completely. Now you've got something you don't need to mix. It's fantastic. You can reuse it. But at the end of the day, what we've done with Spectralock 1 is we've, we've evolved it. We've evolutionized it. We've taken it to the next level. We've made it 10x strong. I mean, there's, there's no, you'll see a, a video shortly. There's no other premix route that can, that can achieve what we can achieve with Spectralock 1. And for those of you who have used it, yeah, you can attest to it, absolutely. Like I said, most premix routes on the market today, they're like 100 PSI, but we get 3,500 PSI. It's stain proof, it's got a very low porosity. So, you know, in a residential um, install, it's all about time. When we talk stain proof and stain resistance, it's all about time. How much time do you have to remove that, whatever it's oil, mustard, whatever it is, ketchup? It's about how much time you have. Well, we can claim this is stain proof in residential installations. Um, it is patent pending. Um, some patents take two or three years. You know, we're on year two right now. It's a uh, um, special act one, so shortly we'll have that patent. And one thing I want to talk to is um, an initiative that, that we have with Latacrete. It's called Project Safety, where, you know, we try to, of course, we always think of uh, contractors and our customers as our family. And, of course, what do we want? We want to keep our family safe. And with, with this product, it's got an extremely low VOC. And any contractor that's worked with it, if you've worked in it in a small bathroom, you know when you work with full premium, you know you're going to smell something. I mean, that, that permeates the room. You know, there's VOCs and epoxies. But within this product, you can open up that lid and you hardly smell a thing. You can work for, for a day with this stuff. You'd never even know it's in the room. Secondarily, there are no epoxy resins in this product. So for those of you that have worked with epoxies over and over and over, I, I feel like what happens is you actually break down your immunity to those epoxy resins, and eventually a lot of guys out there, contractors, if, if they get water, you know, the water that you've used to clean on your skin, you're going to break out, break out in hives. I know a ton of you have that happen right now. We actually have one of our, uh, one of our sales reps, Eric Puchalowski, is one of our VPs in the sales department. He said, oh, I mean, he could be around it. All he has to do is smell it, and he turns into a strawberry. So he said, you know what? I'm going to test that. I'm going to drive out three and a half hours, and I'm going to take that stuff. And he did. He drove out three and a half hours. He played with Spectralock 1, then he took it, and he literally rubbed it on his arms. He hopped back in his car, drove all the way home, and said there was absolutely nothing on it. He said this is a game changer for, for him, because now he doesn't have to worry about those epoxy resins and having the allergies that he's had to those. Also, it can be submerged, and it can be used in steam showers. And I know a couple other products are, probably do say that, um, but uh, we stand behind that. You don't have to call our technical services department and ask them if that can happen. We've had, um, I think we're upwards of about 40 or 50 pools that have used this product, and I can't tell you how many steam showers. Well, just over one thing there. And it's also uh, reusable. So the product itself has an 18-month shelf life. Uh, without it being opened, once it's opened, um, it will have a six-month shelf life. Um, what we always recommend, and um, I hope many of you come up, take a look at it, but it, as soon as you open up the product, it's got a little disc in there. Of course, that, those are the instructions. But secondarily, that plastic disc, keep it. It travels down with the product so that when you use it and you put it back and put it away and seal it up again, that travels down and it kind of acts as a barrier towards air. Obviously, air is the enemy to this product because it will start curing. And you'll find out when you start to spread Special Lock 1, I mean, it starts to kick off almost immediately. And we recommend, I, I basically say, whatever you can fit on your float, float it out, and then start washing. Start dressing those joints. And then you can wait two, three hours. I, you can wait a day, honestly. The biggest key for the next, next wash, after you dress those joints with a sponge, is this thing right here. Doodle bug, it's a nylon scrub hat. This is the key to eliminate any haze no matter what you're working with. This is the second wash. Lightly, lightly, very lightly damp. It'll take off all the haze. It'll disappear. And then follow it up with a microfiber towel, and you'll have a perfect installation. So a lot of people ask me, you know, what's the technology? You talked about ready-to-use grouts. They're either acrylic or urethane-based. What's the technology here? Well, we call it FR3. And what is that? It's fiber-reinforced reactive resins. That's our technology. 
It's not urethane based. It's not acrylic based. That's our technology. It's patent pending. So that's, that's where we're going to leave it at, at that. Doesn't need to be mixed. Um, there are a few other premixes in the market where you open it up and you see that milk, basically the latex separating. There's no separation. When you guys come up here to play with this stuff, because I want people to come up and play with it because I can tell you all about it. I use it every day. I've done more boards than anybody could ever imagine. I want you guys to touch it, feel it, please. But when you open it up, there's no milk. There's no separation. Top to bottom, it's the same exact thing. Take it right out and start using it. You don't need to blend anything. You don't need to remix it. It's perfect. Doesn't need to be sealed. Like I talked about, you know, it's stain proof. It's got a very low porosity. It's also part of our rapid system. So you can, you can have light foot traffic after three hours with this product. Like I said, it cures up fast. Um, and you'll get the nuance to it once you start working with it because you want to dress those joints immediately. You don't want them to start hardening up because all you're going to do is start moving whatever product that you left on the face of the tile and you're going to move it around and you're going to destroy those grout joints. You want a nice, full, dressed grout joint just wash almost immediately out thereafter. Then you can wait as long as you want. And then the key to this, it's made with Spectralock sand. So that Spectralock sand, it's basically got the color baked on, on it. It's basically powder-coated sand. So there's no pigments, nothing's going to bleed, nothing's going to go anywhere. And that was a key for this product, is ensuring that we can make it with the Spectralock sand. Come to 40 colors, and um, I've got my first pail of uh, translucent up here. So if anybody wants to take a look at that, spread that, clean that, please come up. Um, translucent will be available in a couple months from us. Here's all the features and benefits. I'm not going to go over that. Hopefully this, uh, this runs. So essentially, you know, what we do to test this product is that right there is a one-by-one, one, one inch by one inch cube. We wait seven days, and then we start to test it. So you see all these little lines here? That's all of our competitors. That's about, those are like 86 PSI. This went all the way up past 3,400 PSI before it started to break. That's an Instron machine. That's how we test the strength of our products. So that will tell you right there, pounds per square inch PSI, it gets 3,500 PSI. But don't let me tell you guys about it. I'm the product manager, you know, I birthed this product, this was my baby, I, I love this product, I've worked on this, you know, the, the R&D team has, has gone, I mean, they've done yeoman's work, I can't believe what they created here because when we first met with them, they said, that's not possible. There's no way we can hit 3,500 PSI in this type of technology, and they did it, and they did it incredibly well. But don't take my word for it, take everybody, all the contractors, I swear to God, every single day, I don't know why, but somebody's got to take that obligatory picture, whether they did a kitchen or a bathroom, and they have to put their Spectralock 1 pail out there and take that picture. And every day, this is all I see constantly on our, on our, on our Facebook page. And if nobody's, nobody's been on um, our Facebook page, it's, it's called Latacrete Inside Track. Um, if you want to find out about all of our products, first and foremost, before the industry does, come join us there, please. But every day, somebody's, somebody's got something to say on here. Like, you know, Spectralock 1 is the um, S blank, blank, blank. Um, you know, I've done my last 15 showers with this. I'm never going to use anything else, etc. I think there's a picture up here uh, where somebody actually said it's the bomb, the one on the right, and um, I think he put an M80 inside the pail and blew it up um, online. But crazy stuff contractors do, but... They do it every day. Every day I see this stuff up, up on there. It makes me proud that uh, we created something so unique, so amazing, um, that people are just constantly using it over and over. And now it's your turn. I mean, I please, I want people to come up here, use it. I don't care if you're a contractor or not. Come play with it, use it. I didn't bring all this stuff out here. I didn't make these boards just to look pretty up here. I want them to get smeared with grout and fill them up. And please, come up, try it. Ask any questions, please. Anybody have any questions at all? Not reps. So, so what, what Steve's saying is uh, there's no pigments in the grout. Like I said, it's made with Spectralock sand, so it's never going to stain any tiles. There's nothing going to be left behind when you're, when you're using it with, you know, like cement tiles or any type of porous tile. And it won't stain your hands either. And it won't you stain your see. hands either. So. so midnight black, that's a that's a tough one to grow with. This does not stain your hands. It won't stain your paint. It's pretty awesome. Comes right off my hand.
Any other questions? Please. That's what we're here for. We're live again. It's great. We're here. Everybody's together. No masks. I mean, talk. Ask me questions, please. Please come up, honestly. Please come up. Please try it. Yeah. I have a board here, too, that's uh, already grouted an hour ago, and you guys can see how hard it is after one hour. I've only done one wash on this, so I'll do a final now. Yeah, if you want to wear gloves, protective equipment, glasses. Oh, the uh, white. Uh, oh, really? The white is the one that there is some. Thank you. Uh, this is my pail of uh, translucent right here. If anybody wants to try the translucent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I've taken it off. Um, I'll put it on quartz because I use quartz. Stirred up. Yeah. The problem is a lot of nobody. I mean, it would still work nobody out. uses this on the second one, and what they use is like typically, you know, those sponges that have like the other side. It's got like a microfiber. I think this strong, but this has to be. It's got to be strong. It's got to have like a little, little grit to kind of take it off. The white might have. Yeah, exactly. And, and and honestly, after a couple hours, you just go and hit it because that way there, it's all cured up. You don't have to worry about destroying grout joints. There. Usually, though, most of the time it's not going to be separate. I mean, it's creamy, it's smooth. As you guys know, but the beauty of it, I mean, the big, the big hurdle that we had to get through is making sure that it, that we could clean it. Um, I should have brought some samples of that. So it, basically, when it looks dry, it's gonna, it's gonna pull all these colors, and you're not even gonna tell that there's grout in there. Because right now it looks white because it's a latex in there. But once it cures up, it's, you're not even going to notice it. It'll look like one big mass. Exactly. No, it, when it's dry, it'll be, yeah, it'll be very clear. Almost, yeah, yeah. Very close. Yeah, yeah, I'll grout the board up and uh, I'll keep it over at our booth. But that, that's fine. Any questions? Any comments? So when do you clean it? It's really smooth, right? So basically the cleaning process is, um, like I said, normally I do like an arm's length. You'll do an arm's length and then you, you do your first, first pass on cleaning. Yep, yep. And then depending on the size of the, of the joint, you know, sometimes it'll be 45 minutes, sometimes it'll be an hour, hour and a half. The wider they are, you know, the longer it takes to kind of cure up. Um, but you... How wet? And so the sponge, when you do your first uh, cleaning, I would I would hardly I would hardly use any water whatsoever. I mean, I probably have this just damp. I wouldn't even have it. Nothing dripping at all. Exactly, exactly. Just damp, just damp, and give it give it a nice little. Because because the first wash is your is your key because that's what's dressing it. That's what's going to keep it nice, smooth. And then I you know you can wait here. You can wait an hour and a half. And then just hit it that second wash with a doodle bug, and it just breaks off of that that fine film that's left over. So, the haze on those, so the yeah. So we're working with Cory Tile, you know, it's basically using that using that doodle bug, you know, using that. I've done it, and I've waited 24 hours. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just the key is just breaking it up with the doodle bug. No, oh, here. Yep, definitely. The white. Well, if you, yeah, if you use too much water. Yeah, if you use a lot of water, then you'll, it'll look white, like on the top, but it'll, it'll all just dry off. And of course, once again, it's not pigmented. So. It just fills, it fills the joints nice. It's real creamy, smooth. Uh, minimum, minimum is... Um, 
16th up to, up to we say 3 eighths, but I've seen guys do pebble, but the problem is it's just allowing, you know, you can't have somebody go in there three days later and use that shower after you put a pebble floor in because nothing's good because you got inch at least an inch in some spots. So, I mean... I mean, uh, if you go 72 hours, it, yeah, yeah. Especially if you're doing penny rounds, you know, something small like that, it's fine. Exactly. Yeah. Three days is perfect. Honestly, you can get on in 24 hours because you'll see this stuff. If you come back later on today, that would be hard as a rock. In two hours, it's, it's hard as a rock. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but you know how impatient homeowners are, you know. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I'm a commercial contractor. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We're seeing a box everywhere. Everywhere, really. Which is kind of overkill, obviously, but yeah. Wow. So yeah, so this as opposed to sure, exactly. And and on our data sheet, so on our data sheet, we actually say that this is um, a, a suitable alternative for Spectralock Pro Premium, which is why we called it Spectralock because it does get that that strength that epoxy gets. So if you needed any help to you know, you can show them on that data sheet. Exactly. The benefits, yeah. So one of the first things that I ask is, is it going to save me money for the article? Well, absolutely, yeah. And, and there is, but well, there is, there is because there's no mixing, right? You don't have to mix anything. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you've got no mixing. You can reuse it. So if you're saying you're going from room to, like, if you're doing a hotel, whatever it is, you're going from room to room and you're only using half a pail, if you mix up a full pair of epoxy, you're going to waste that half a pail, no matter what. So yeah, you're saving money just just by utilizing this over and over again in all those those installs. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, that's why we called it Spectralock, so that if it's specified as Spectralock Pro Premium, Spectralock One, yeah, yeah, they probably wouldn't even know. No, no, of course you could because. No, because you say, yes, I use Spectralock. Exactly. Although we've got contractors all day long, they're like, oh, they use that premix epoxy. I'm like, well, it's a, that's, like, that's like plastic silverware. It, it, you can't do that, but, but we do get that strength. Thank you. That's a weird time. <laughs> That's why it was put in backwards because look at the centers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they have dimples in there. You can take that out, though.